Just last year, I took my family on a cross-country trip from New York to Los Angeles, a journey just over 2,800 miles. We had a time limit of seven days to get there. So what do you think I did first? You made a detailed plan? You got it. First, I chose my route. My spouse and I planned to drive 500 miles a day. That sounds reasonable. At that rate, you would make the journey in less than six days, and you would have a day to spare. Yes, because we were driving in winter. We allowed one day as a risk day if the weather got bad. Makes sense to have a risk reserve. I suspect you must have figured your budget carefully as well. Oh, yes. We carefully estimated all costs, fuel, lodging, dining, and incidental expenses. We arrived at a budget of $2,700 to get four of us there within the allotted time. Divide that by six, and we wanted to keep daily expenses to $450. I'm guessing you checked your progress every day. Oh, yes. We were quite disciplined about following that plan. Each night, we would compare the progress we made that day and the expenditures we incurred against the plan. So how did you do the first day? Really good. My trip mileage counter read 510 miles, making our 500 mile a day quota. Not only did we make good time, but we did well on expenses also. Taking into account the hotel cost, we came in at $430 $430 for day one. That's fantastic. So you were on schedule and on cost. A tad better, actually, on both counts. Now, did the rest of the journey go as smoothly as day one? Oh, I wish. We ran into a serious snowstorm 200 miles west of Cheyenne, Wyoming. Next morning, roads were still being cleared, and we were told it wasn't safe to travel. So we stayed in place. Mm, I'm sorry your well-made plans took a hit. Yes, indeed. It was a risk we knew taking that route in the winter, and so we had a day in reserve. We did make it to our destination on day seven, but the extra days cost us an extra $300. So seven days and $3,000 later, your mission was complete? Yes, it was. In hindsight, I wish I had budgeted a little extra just like I did with time, but I considered the whole journey successful. So how exactly did EVM principles help you? That is a great question. We always knew where we stood in comparison to the plan. On a couple of occasions, when we were a little short on distance, we made it up by driving a little more the next day. We also stayed on top of our expenses and compared it to what we had planned to spend. If we had spent a little more than planned, we made it up the next day by dining more frugally. Right, so in a manner of speaking, you weren't driving blind. That's a good way of putting it. Good planning and good execution to include timely course corrections can increase your chance of success.